Alejano, an experienced 6'5", 235-pound senior right-hander. Well, a poor pitch guy. Breaking pitches are curveball at a slider. And, you know, again, 88 to 94, which is a, a big gap, a uh, big range there. But he basically is around 88 to 90, uh, sits at that during the game. And then every once in a while when he when he walks or feels like it, he runs it up to 94. So we'll be looking especially for that pitch when there are two strikes on rainbow batters. In you know, fifth uh, year with the program, Kamehameha uh, Hawaii. 2020, he made seven appearances, started just one game. He was 2-1 with a 2.16 earned run average. So primarily a reliever, but we have a couple of would-be starting pitchers who decided not to return this season off of the COVID shutdown and the accompanying added eligibility. He becomes the starter on day one here for Kilo, and his first pitch to Scotty Scott is a strike. So Scotty Scott, Always a fun player to watch. 5'10 sophomore from Houston, Texas. He's hitting 273 on the year. Takes strike two right there. Has a propensity for being hit by the pitch. Five already this season. In fact, he is coming into this weekend ranked second in all of college baseball in hit by pitch average. One per game. <laughs> You, you can understand why when you see his stance. And we'll, we'll look at where his toes are. His toes are right on that inside line of the left-handed batter's box. And you know what? He's back a little bit. Remember the other day, I'm talking, he was right up to the line. Now he's, he stepped off a little bit. Maybe he's getting tired of being, of being <laughs> hit so much. 0-2 pitch, off-speeder, and he fouled away. Scott, one of the many hot bats last week against Hawaii Pacific for the Rainbows. He had 600 in that series, two runs batted in. He scored seven times, but, I mean, that was just an offensive onslaught a weekend ago. Hawaii outscoring HP 46 to 6 in that series. Is that when this is upstairs and in for a ball? The Eagle Warriors scoring double figures in each of the four games set. One two pitch. That would just miss the edge. Some moans and groans coming from the Vulcan dugout on that no call. For a strike three. Let's take a look. Yeah, it was a little bit up, up and outside. So two balls, two strikes here, the count to Scotty Scott. So Scott able to work his way back to a full count here. One of the things that surprised me in the World Series, professional Major League World Series, was the the distances the catchers moved the ball away from the plate to the strike zone. I mean, they, they were moving it like a foot. They'd catch it a foot outside and then they'd move it to the strike zone. And, and like you saw the catcher just do that a couple of pitches ago. It's the eighth pitch of this at bat. It's a bouncer to second. Faria up with it. Tried to throw to first, but Russell at first slipped and fell. And so Scott is safe at first. And what was an awkward opening defensive sequence for the Vulcans. Well, because Russell was on the bag, body on the bag, Scotty Scott could not touch it. He went by it. Got there a little bit, and he slips right there. He's on the bag, so Scott jumps over now. Watch him. He dives back, dives back in. I mean, really a, a big dive. Watch this if we can stay with it. And he dives back safely. 